today's the day. We booked a one-way ticket and we're flying to Europe. And to get there, we're going to be flying one of the best airlines in the world. Oh, and we'll be flying a business class in our literal own mini apartment in the sky. Hi, we're Stephen, Jess and Hunter, a little family from Australia who just spent the last year completing our goal of driving a lap around Australia in our self-converted van Cooper. But today we are saying goodbye to Coops and venturing out on a brand new adventure together. So this trip has actually been a long time coming. We had flights to Europe booked in 2020, it got cancelled, and then it got pushed to 2021, and of course that got cancelled. And now we are here in 2022, and we are going to finally be boarding those flights to Italy. Daddy. Hunter, what does a plane do? Are you going to be flying in a plane today? Yeah! Yay! Bye, Jake! You want to go into the airport? Yeah. Hey, bye, Jake. Thanks for taking me to the airport. See you, Jake. See you when you're even more older. I know. Hey, Daddy, where are we going? <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> Sorry, we had to wake you up. She's <laughs> excited to go on a plane. Let's go. Oh my goodness. I feel so thankful we get to walk down this aisle right now. <gasps> <laughs> wow, it's only middle of the year and we did not need any sort of test to head to our final destination, which already feels good. How exciting is this? <laughs> so Qatar doesn't have their own lounge here at the Perth airport, but because there are Star Lions, there's a New Zealand lounge here. So just enjoying a bit of a drink before our flight. Cheers. A plane? Are we gonna go over on there and have a sleepover with a pillow and a blanket? Go find me the plane, Hunter. Go find me the plane. We, we fly. Plane, let's go find it. Hmm, where could it be? Here, Mama. We fly. We're gonna have the biggest seat you've ever sat on. She was like, wow, <laughs> this is our room. This is amazing. I said to Stephen, wait, this is first class. And I realized this is what their business looks like. She's wow. made herself at home. She's ready to go. Hey, this is a complimentary lounge and a pair of slippers. Oh, you. thank you so much. Is it a surprise? What could it be? Ooh. Oh. Wow. Oh. So this goes on your lips. So you go like this. Ready? Put it on. Oh, oh thank, thank you so you. much. Oh, wow. Hey, Do you want to cheers with Daddy? Hold it two hands. Want to cheers? Cheers, Steve. Cheers. <laughs> That's really good. It's like oh, a lime and mint drink, and she said it was like a traditional, right, in Middle East? Yeah. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm speechless. This looks. I've never seen a photo or a video or anything of what this looks like. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Daddy, Mama, Daddy, Mama. Another cheers. Had to do the rosé as well. I don't know who's more happier, Hunter mommy. or Mummy. Should I find a movie? The Sing 2. We love Sing 2. Do you remember the one we watched in Cooper? Or oh, there's Encanto. Oh. We don't talk about Bruno. Oh. She's like, okay, Mummy. Do you know what you do with it? You get it, open it up like this, and then you go like this. This is already getting me excited for the flight. Normally a flight from Australia to Europe. A little bit daunting. If you are from Australia, you know exactly what it's like. And the staff was so nice. They moved some people around. Jess and Hunter have the Q suite, so they joined together into this ultimate big room, which we'll show you all around. But I wanted the window seat for takeoff so I could see Perth, my home, which is one last time. Hey, Papa. <laughs> His pajamas. <laughs> put them on. <laughs> Definitely feels extra special. They even gave me slippers. I ran into a lady. She was like, "Jammy time." I'm like, "Jammy time." <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, super smooth takeoff. Now I want to go join Hunter and Jess next to them. Hunter, you ready? Go. Huh? What's happening? Are we gonna lie down? It's like a full-on bed. Are we lying down in a plane right now? <laughs> Are we lying down in a plane? This is so fun, Steve. Huh? Is it your movie? Are we watching a movie in bed? I think it's time that I go get into my pajamas. Very, very comfy. 
let's give you guys a quick bathroom tour. First off, this is, as with the Q Suite, the biggest bathroom on an aeroplane I've ever been in. Like I kid you not, it is humongous. Of course, there's a toilet. Red wipes here, yeah. this drawer for toothpaste and a shaver. Oh no, it's already been claimed by everyone here on the plane. Hopefully they top them up later. But on top of that, there is infused luxury facial water. This is the uh, first time I've used it ever in my life. Okay, that is pretty refreshing. As well as luxurious hand wash and velvet hand cream. Okay, I definitely feel refreshed after coming in here. Yeah. So I'm currently having a candlelit dinner with my little one. The cool thing about Qatar is that it's on-demand dining. So there isn't a certain time you can eat. You literally just grab the menu, order what you want. I've gone for the vegetarian option. It looks like a veggie pie with a side salad. Plus you get some salt and pepper shakers. I know it's the smallest things. You get them at restaurants all the time, but because you're on a plane, it feels extra special. What an extra touch. Wow. It is currently 12.30 a.m. and I want to taste. Do you want to try? Just one bite. Just so I can have some dinner in peace without everyone stealing my pie. <laughs> That's a good pie. Dinner, 10 out of 10. Didn't need to eat it, but also needed to eat it. Now they're gonna set my seat for bedtime. There's something almost childlike about having someone make your bed for you. It's, it feels extra special. Hunter, can I ask you a question? It's past midnight. How are you still awake? Oh, I get all the pillows. Hunter, boink, 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 boink. Oh, no, oh. That is a very soft blanket. So yes, the Q Suite is a completely flat lay business class seat. <sighs> they said it's seven hours till breakfast. The only time on a flight when you want to say, I wish it was longer. They topped up. <laughs> One last was more bad. guys in the morning. Good morning! How long did we sleep for? I think like six hours. And now our tummy's rumbling. Do you want mummy to order us some pancakes? The only time we've ever flown business class was a Qantas like four years ago. And my main memory of it was eating pancakes with proper cutlery. And I need to redo that moment with Hunter. It's my favorite part about business class. Eating pancakes in the sky. This is to be like the fanciest meal I've ever been served on a plane. Hunter, have you seen these pancakes? With the berries and the cream. <gasps> you want my strawberries, don't you? That is fine. Oh my goodness, babe. What are you gonna get? I think I'm gonna get the eggs. That is so good. I feel like we're on the little family breakfast date. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. stealing my pancakes. I totally might have stolen Jess's last pancakes. These are just the best pancakes I think I've ever had. So they just offered me some fruit, and I didn't expect them to bring out the fanciest platter ever. They even have half a passion fruit. Welcome to my two-course breakfast that I've ordered. They've just brought out starters. Is this eloquent fruit platter? I mean, has anybody prepared a fruit salad that kind of looks like you've ordered some sushi rolls before? We have two types of melon, we've got kiwi fruit, we've got strawberries, I'll save this for Hunter, watermelon, passion fruit, and pineapple, plus a warm bread roll with my own little strawberry jam. Are you wanting to join me for breakfast? <laughs> you feel like we have a little cheeky person jumping between mine and Jessica's breakfast. Oh. <laughs> you can have the strawberry, that's fine. Cheers. She comes in, steals my breakfast, and then goes back to mum. <laughs> So for my mains, I have some scrambled eggs, and potatoes, it looks like a little bit of tofu, a side salad, mushrooms, and a piece of toast. The icing on top is a cappuccino coffee to wash it all down. 
So we landed an hour and seeing as they've given us a box of very fancy bits and bobs, I thought I may as well use them to freshen up before we land in Doha. Dip DQ. A little bit of face cream. Do you want some face cream? <laughs> mm, this stuff is nice. Wow. Oh, a little natural spray. I got a body lotion. To be honest, it doesn't taste that bad for body lotion. The spray. That smells good, Steve. Where was this eight hours ago? I'm ready to land now. Okay, guys, I'm going to go and get changed. And then I can give you a tour of our Q Suite. So this is the Qatar Business Q Suite. It's found on a wide range of their aircrafts, but we're currently on the Boeing 777-300. And it literally feels like we are in an apartment. Like, look at this space. Let me give you guys a quick room tour. Of course, on the Q Suites, it's a little apartment. You can close this door to have complete privacy in your room. There is a massive 32 inch touch screen, which we can also operate with a mini remote that has its own touch screen. Because your room is so big, you can lean forward to use it. So you can easily just be lazy and lean back and pick what you want to watch. We have flight maps, latest Hollywood movies, Bollywood movies, TV shows, pretty much everything you need to stay entertained. And then next to your main seat, you always have this little booster seat. And inside the booster seat, first of all, it gives you just so much extra room. It feels like you're given two seats, especially perfect with Hunter. And underneath there, you have your personal storage, plus some complimentary water, and a pair of noise-canceling headphones. Plus in front of you, next to the screen, you have a wide range of buttons. One, to control the multitude of angles that you can put your light flat bag to. Plus multiple USB charging ports, a universal AC adapter if you want to plug in a laptop, do some charging. Of course, our menus, which is order anytime, so you can order your food when you want. If you guys are wondering what the other options are, you could have chosen between the vegetarian options, stir fried chicken, or an Angus beef burger. Plus breakfast was choice of a cheese omelet, scrambled eggs, or the pancakes which is our recommendation. Oh, and there's also this other menu, just stacked with wine choices. But of course the best bit is that if you book with a family member or a friend, you guys can just have an apartment together or not. <laughs> All right, let's land and go. Just real quick, we wanted to say a massive thank you to EcoFlow for keeping Cooper juiced up on our van trip around Australia. So we've decided to pick up a portable home battery system. We went with the EcoFlow Delta Max 2000s so that we can go and explore more of Australia off grid with no worries. So this is gonna be one of the most eco-friendly battery charging solutions on the market at the moment. They have fast charging, which gets you from zero to 80% in one hour if you plug it in. Plus if you like us and picked up a couple of solar panels, it's renewable energy We've actually picked up a couple of them and they take up less space than our beach chairs I think the bit that I like the most about this is how simple it is We've just got two cables straight from the solar panels and then you just have this adapter to plug it into the battery Then you can just let it charge in the Sun plus we've picked up a couple of 160 watt solar panels So that of course is gonna make it charge a lot quicker because it's able to get a lot more renewable energy in <laughs> Luckily, it's actually a pretty hot day today in Australia, but if it does rain luckily <laughs> It's waterproof because of the one seamless design. Now, if you're like me and just want things to work without thinking about it, they've also got an app. It's the EcoFlow app and you can just Bluetooth connect to the battery and it lets you know how long it's going to take to charge as well as if you are plugging devices in, how much battery you got left. So yeah, if you guys are interested in picking up one of these for your van life, I'll leave a link in the description below. Cabin crew, prepare for landing. Welcome to Doha, everybody. This is only the second time we've been here. It is just a quick layover before we do jump onto our next flight. But I think it's a couple hours and our flight was 25 minutes early. Welcome to Doha, everyone. We now have three hours to kill and there are two things here that are gonna keep us busy. First is a lounge. Stephen loves a good lounge. And second, there's an amazing playground. And you all know, Hunter loves a good playground. Well, that was super nice because we had a little bit of a tight layover. We had an escort take us literally from the area plane walk us through to the lounge so i've just been sweating up a storm it's like 42 degrees so found out there's a shower in the lounge and i'm going to take full advantage of this shampoo conditioner shower gel all this luxury stuff we had on the plane fresh towels and uh, i'm now going to go and enjoy a shower see you guys after the shower short sweet but hit the spot now let's go find jess and hunter 
So she's about to go play soccer in a, in a Disney outfit. We had an accident. I don't have any more clothes. So. Rookie mistakes. So um, the only place we could find that had kids clothes was the Adidas store. And the only kids clothes they had was Mickey Mouse themed soccer outfit. Oh, shall we go play soccer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where shall we go? We've just come to the Oryx lounge and uh, grabbing a quick cup of coffee before we try to get some more energy out of Hunter. Wanna go to the playground? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so second flight, we're jumping on Qatar's Dreamliner. Excited to see what the seats look like. So I think Italy's a bit stricter with their masks before we bought it. They made everyone switch to this, but we have our welcome drinks, a nice cold towel. They did give you the option of warm or cold, but it is like 40 degrees out in Doha today. So this is just perfect. It's been a long but unforgettable day. <laughs> I have waited four hours for lunch. Hunter literally just passed out for the last four hours. It was too awkward to try and have lunch. Thank you so much. I feel like this is probably the seventh coffee I've had today. I think we have like a three course lunch. We're starting off with a quinoa salad. Mm. I don't know if I'm just so hungry, but this just tastes so good. And then for maids, we have a bit of a crumb tofu. We got some veggies, we got some rice going here. Honestly, I'm just happy with the anywhere dining that I can just eat, even though I think we land in about an hour. Well, well, well. Look who's back for daddy's dessert, huh? You? <laughs> Papa Dad. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, oh. Mm. oh, oh. So, Hunter, did you see what she brought you? What's this sneaky bonus dessert? I got that back. Oh, give me the fruit pass so you can take the good stuff. Not feeding dad that one. That's for Hunter. Hunter, if you enjoyed this flight, <laughs> I could see on your map you've enjoyed this flight. No. Is it no? Couldn't agree more <laughs> as I enjoy this final bit of this absolutely amazing day of flying with Qatar. Ending it with this, I thought I'd give you guys a very quick tour of our seat. Before we land, I'm leaving it at the last minute as always. We're always in these little pods, full flatbed, as I tested out with Hunter having a four hour nap on me. This time with our amenities, they've given us a little bit of a bag. An eye mask, or some more moisturizers. And I noticed this time around there's like a male version and a female version, and they match it up depending on who booked the seat. Full menu like before. We can charge our phones, we have a USB outlet, we have a storage compartment. And what I thought was kind of cool, a little shoe storage compartment as well. And a slightly smaller screen, but still humongous for a plane. But now we're coming into our final destination of Rome. I'm going to enjoy this as we well. Welcome to Europe. I still can't get over her little outfit. <laughs> we made it. It is time for a shower. Good night, Italy. <laughs> Alrighty, waited three hours for this, but the sun is finally out. Let's go see the city. Okay, there has to be one perk about jet lag and waking up at 3 a.m. He said, we are up and there is nobody here in front of the Coliseum. If you ever want to leave, I'll be here when you're feeling low Be awake when you're asleep When you're dreaming of a way to get home Don't call another And don't look around so we're looking for a place to stay. We decided just to look up the cheapest guest house we could find that was walking distance to the Colosseum. And I'm now glad we did because this morning we were like, do you just want to go and grab breakfast in front of the Colosseum? And here we are having our first coffee here in Italy, right in front of this guy. So we were a bit last time we were in Europe, or at least in Italy, seven years ago. Playgrounds were not on the agenda, but I think they're going to be going to the top of the sightseeing list with Hunter. But honestly, not even mad. This playground is in front of a 16th century manor and some Roman baths from 109 AD. What a cool spot.